Sassy Sirens, we are back yet again for our favorite pastime of us talking and gossiping about Starbucks cups. Before I get started, if you have been enjoying this content, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you are getting up-to-date information about cup releases, giveaways, and all of that good stuff. And if by the time you finish this video, you determine that you enjoy the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and give it a comment. So this collection doesn't need much of an introduction um, because when you look at it, you pretty much know um, where it came from and what it was all about. So summer 2020, Starbucks and Target got together for an exclusive collaboration to celebrate our um, LBGTQIA plus friends. Um, I worked really hard to try to get the letters right, but just in case I didn't, um, I apologize. But this collection was all all about um, that and celebrating um, the pride. So in Chicago, we usually have a massive pride parade in, in June that um, gets hundreds and thousands of participants. But due to COVID, the parade was canceled, unfortunately, and I'm sure people were devastated, but there's just no way for an event that big to um, be able to follow all of the safety protocols that were necessary. But the collection still came out, which was so colorful and so eclectic. And I was super excited to see it on, on the Target shelves. It was really, really hard to come by. Um, it was also around that time when there were so many um, state lockdowns and um, st either stores were open or they weren't open. They were open in, in limited capacity. So all of those things kind of made it a little bit harder to get pieces of the collection as well. But here are the three cups that I really liked. So I went and got. The collection is a bit bigger. I know there were straws, there were bags and wallets, and all these other things that were involved. But these were the pieces that really spoke to me. So these are the three that I got. Um, you immediately notice that there is a double wall and a cold cup that are identical. So it was a no-brainer. I immediately just won. I just loved how bright and colorful this was. Um, there is not an inch on this cup that isn't just splashed with color. It just makes me think of a canvas of like, you know, an, an artist who is painting this, like post-impressionism or whatnot. Um, the... Uh, double wall and the cold cup are essentially identical. What you do notice that is different in the cold cup, when you look at what's meant to be the hair of the siren, it is this red glitter. Um, in the double wall, it's just a standard red. Here, it's it's the whole thing is like ribbon red is what I would call it with a lot of glitter in it. So I do like that the cups are identical, but there is this kind of like cheeky difference between the two. Um, the cups were essentially the standard price. This one was $18.95, which is typically what cold cups cost. Um, you'll see a lot of the study ones are like $19.95, but $18.95 to $19.95 is essentially the sweet spot of a cold cup. And then this double wall was $16.95, which is actually relatively cheaper than most double walls usually are because double walls are usually um, $19.95 upwards to $24.95 depending on how um, cheeky or textured or what extra part of the, the pizzazz that's been added to the cup. So these two were, were meant to be identical and typically when I do carry them, I do carry them both together because if I'm going into work, I'll have a hot coffee and then this cup will be for um, water that I have throughout the day just because when you're sipping something through a straw, I, I hate the, the aftertaste of you still tasting a little bit of what was in the cup before. So typically when I do carry cups, I carry two. One will be for coffee and then one will be for, for water that I drink throughout the day. The other cup I got in the collection was uh, another studded cup. 
you really don't see this cup around a lot. I notice when people on the internet are posting their studded cup collection, this is not one that you see, mainly because the production of this cup was extremely limited. They did not make a lot of the pride studded cup, so you won't see a lot of people who are displaying their studded cup collections having this, um, just because it was not very very easy to get your hands on because of how limited the production of it was. This studded cup does not have a price tag on the bottom. Uh, it doesn't have the, the price label on it anymore, so I can't tell you how much it was, but I would imagine it would have been the same price as most studded cups, which is $19.95. So um, drop a comment. Were you able to get your hands on the Pride Collection? Did you like the Pride Collection? Do you like when Starbucks does these um, exclusive collaborations with just one store? Because this was an exclusive collaboration with just Target, so that was the only place that you could get it. So do you enjoy when they do it? Do you find it a little bit challenging because, you know, Starbucks is, or the Starbucks is inside of Target's maybe harder for you to find or whatnot? Not quite sure, but let us know. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this video. And I'll see you in the next video.